Hey there. So I decided to talk a little bit more about uh, gaming because uh, I've been doing a lot of it since I've been on uh, on my vacation here. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about the system that I got. And as you know from my unboxing uh, a while back, I picked up the uh, 500 gigabyte uh, slim white uh, the PS3. And that I pretty much took care of the uh, of any uh, playing that I had to do with the Xbox 360 before that. How good is this? Was this well? It comes with uh, one major plus, and that is PlayStation Plus. Let's see if I can put this more into perspective here. I have bought WWE 13 since I got the system, but does that mean that's all I can got or all I can do gaming wise? No, because with a uh, with PlayStation Plus, well. Uh, Let's check it out. Okay, guys, so here we are back in. We're now we're looking at my uh, PlayStation on, on the screen there. And basically, this will let you know what I got for free just by having PlayStation Plus and uh, how it's changed uh, some of the way that I do my gaming here. Uh, MLB 13, the show, Home Run Derby Edition, that just came up free on the uh, PlayStation j just uh, yesterday. And basically what it is, just a... Uh, a home run, kind of like a batting game, but really cool though, great graphics, and actually makes me want to get NBL the show, so uh, it worked. Next up, I have Hitman Absolution, one of my uh, favorite games, and I actually was, I, ha I have the uh, hard copy version of this one as well, which I'll probably trade in now to uh, grab something else. And uh, incredible game, uh, free, PlayStation Plus. Uncharted 3, uh, Jerk's Deception, up with multiplayer mode as well, and again, a free, incredible game. I love the Uncharted games, free, with uh, PlayStation Plus. Uh, Jet Set Radio, a uh, classic game that I used to play a lot back in the uh, in the old days, and I'm kind of getting into it again, though it's frustrating to try to figure out those moves again, and it's, uh, again, free with uh, PlayStation Plus. Uh, Saints Row the Third, one I was that I really wanted to pick up, and... Uh, finally got a chance to do it. Hopefully I'll get to do some gaming on it. Again, guys, you know where I'm going with this. It's free with PlayStation Plus. Battlefield 3. Fun game. Great multiplayer. I'm looking at getting the fourth one uh, free. With PlayStation Plus. Little Big Planet Karting. Uh, full, uh, kind of a fun, cool kart, kart racing game. If you're into the kart racing stuff, uh, got it for me and, uh, and my uh, family to play. And it's free. PlayStation Plus. I'm going ahead there. Oh, we're not there yet. A Machinarium. That's a really cool game. I had, did not know anything about this before I got it. It's a very addictive, very fun puzzler. And it is free with PlayStation Plus. Next up is... Ah, no. Tekken Revolution. It's a uh, fighting game. I think there's about 6-8 uh, fighters in it. And yet again, uh, a Tekken game. That is free with uh, PlayStation Plus. Vanquish is one that I did not know a lot about, but I'd seen some some stuff on it uh, and on other th sites, and I thought it was a pretty cool game. Luckily, I got to try it out free with uh, PlayStation Plus. Uh, Jetpack Char Ride is one that I played on my iPad a lot until I pretty much uh, beat it, and I uh, just wanted it so basically I have a smaller game that I can play, and again, that's another freebie. Do Ask Human Revolution was one of those uh, cool games that I always planned to pick up and never did, and uh, I got it free with PlayStation. Uh, it's about time. Uh, chapter 1 in the Telltale Games uh, Back to the Future uh, get one, and that was uh, free with PlayStation Plus. Next up is Zombie Tycoon 2. Uh, brain... Brain Hove's Revenge. Haven't really got to play that one yet, but it was a freebie with PlayStation Plus, so why not? I love uh, a lot of shooter games, and uh, this is kind of like a Halo-ish type game. It's Eve Dust 514, and it is completely free with PlayStation Plus. If you uh, want to play SingStar games, uh, it's, good. They're now, it's now gone digital. You can even take the uh, PS2 SingStar games that you might have and put it in your PS3 because these, these are the ones PS2 games that well work in your system 
and SingStar Digital is completely free with PlayStation Plus. Uh, ah, doesn't the drive goes does that? Next up is Little Big Planet 2. Uh, I have hours of fun with this game, and uh, the kids love it as well. And uh, gotta love Sackboy. I mean, yet again, free with PlayStation Plus. Uh, closure, decent little puzzler. Don't play it that much, uh, but it was free with PlayStation Plus, so it was worth checking out. Next up is the K, which I do have a lot of fun with. It's very humor is very different, very fun, very strange. I like it a lot, and it was free with PlayStation Plus. Uh, Sleeping Dogs, of course, was originally going to be a, a true crime a sequel. It is an amazing game. It's way, way better than I thought it was going to be. It was completely free with PlayStation Plus, and I'm so glad I got it. And of course, last but definitely not least, DC Universe Online. And another one that is completely free with PlayStation Plus. You get to, and with the free version, you get two heroes you can make, or v heroes or villains you can make and customize and just change them up. And it's a really cool really cool one and I gotta say I really enjoyed it and it's free with PlayStation Plus also Netflix, Cinema Online, YouTube, Crackle all uh, free with PlayStation Plus and actually free even without PlayStation Plus so if you didn't ha didn't have them you're, you can watch Netflix even without having the uh, PlayStation again a lot of cool stuff on here uh, so all together that is one I'll come back in one second and we'll, and we'll find it for sure As you can see, I've had my PlayStation 3, this new one, for a little over maybe a month, month and a half. And I have, at the moment, 21 uh, games running uh, that run free on my PlayStation Plus with a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I got, I can fit a few more in there. And uh, will I get PlayStation Plus? Will I pay the $49 to get it next year after uh, this runs out? Well, obviously, I got the PS4, so I'm coming in, so yeah. I will, and uh, honestly guys, two months, 21 free games, only had to buy one, it's a no-brainer that I'm going to get the next year of PlayStation Plus. Uh, PS3 is the system that I go for right now, and uh, it's the reason I'm going to go for the PlayStation 4. I like where they're going with it, I like the fact that the, with the indie support, I uh, like the look of the new controller. I did not have a problem with this one. I uh, I've enjoyed both controllers that I from the Xbox and the PS3. I love the white color on this one here. But uh, again, guys, to each his own on what on what system you want to game on or what you want to go with. I'm a, a PlayStation guy right now. I do have an Xbox, but I don't use it. It's pretty much in a bag, literally, like still in a bag. And that uh, because I. Uh, Unplugged it. Was gonna use it upstairs and decided not to. Uh, I just don't have much fun with it anymore. And uh, TJ recently told me that uh, Fire Pro Wrestling is on the uh, PlayStation Three for just nine ninety nine. So I am definitely gonna be downloading that one in the near future. So uh, thanks again, TJ, for uh, for pointing that out to me. What game system do you play? Or do you or do you play at all? Uh, I did a gaming one, asked you that basically a similar question to that. But uh, are you a PlayStation fanboy, an Xbox fanboy? Are you a PC gamer? Uh, and will you get the next gen console? Is, will you be getting it now, like when it comes out? Huh? Are you are you a day one buyer, or are you going to be buying down the road? Uh, this is my first time in a long time being a day one buyer, and I'm actually really proud to be able to uh, get a uh, a console. On day one, I pre-ordered my PS4, and I uh, was happy to find out that uh, Sony is uh, pretty much uh, assuring that all the PS4s that uh, GameStop have ordered so far are going to be in on uh, on uh, on launch day. So I'm guessing it'll probably be midnight launch. So I'm going to be going there, probably do a little video of uh, at, at the launch site, and I will do a video of the unboxing when I get it. So please, if you're thinking about getting the PS4 and you're not getting it right away, come back and check my channel and uh, see me unbox the PS4. Hopefully have some fun with it. We'll check out uh, uh, whatever game I get with it. There's a couple I'm looking at right now. And uh, I'll even get a Drive Club and give that a, a run on the uh, PlayStation 4, 4 when I get it. Because I know it comes up free with the PlayStation Plus on the uh, on the PS4. And any of these games that I'm playing here, 
I can also download on the PS4 along with a bunch of other new uh, games that are coming uh, free to the PlayStation 4. So you don't have to have buy a lot of stuff going in. I will want to buy the camera down the road. So it's about a 50 buck, uh, 50, 60 bucks. Um, and again, not a lot. And for me, a PlayStation is done well enough with me this time around that yes, I will pick up the Vita finally. And uh, that'll probably be when I switch over to the PlayStation 4 uh, completely. Then I'm more than likely, I'll trade in the PlayStation 3 and I'll probably put it towards the Vita so that I can uh, totally be a uh, game on the, on the run while I'm a as well. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video here. This is uh, another gaming video, something I didn't plan to do. So right now guys I'm gonna hit, sit back and uh, play a little bit of Hitman Absolution and uh, grab some tea because uh, right now guys it is time for tea. Hope you enjoyed it.